Hang on, we'll give it without a ring once. Hello? Hold on one second. Trader! Tina, pick up your fucking dirty <laughs> Pick up your dirty fucking underwear, you gutter slut! Fuck off, you little bitch! God damn it, Tina, come pick up this fucking underwear before I kick your little fucking ass, you bitch! And I'm just gonna open up for my man with the largest pork sword on this side of the Mississippi. This is just a little bit of a uh, political spoken word for you. This goes out to my hatred of the American government. Aptly titled, Fuck the System. Give it up. Here it goes. Proverbial aphorisms ignite my powder keg of divine intellect, a cause creating an effect and a consensus of rhetoric in which all of humanity will have to reflect. A chemical defect that engineers detect as they inspect the deck, explosives wrecked and established civilization. One nation complete with God's songs and side lawns, while on the other side of the earth they detonate clouds with bombs and infect with biological maladies. Melodious harmonies of disease dropping people with ease. Please, God, will you save these poor souls? The death tolls unfold as I told the suicidal actions are rewarded with gold that the Anunnaki once coldly and boldly sold. And 20,000 years to this day, the Nephilim came with the same motivating force. Of course, the world was dying as ours is today. And George W. Bush's retort is, hey, I think we may have to attack Iraq because they keep sending our globalist inspectors back with a sack of nothing in their hands. Let's put 140,000 Iraqis to rest in the sands of a Sumerian promised land, and it's over oil they toil while on our own soil they build electrical coils to power the homes of the ones fortunate enough to pay tax that fund American attacks on the backs of the innocent. They implement their intent of mass destruction, secret corruption, and a new construction, constructing a new world order of chaos and disorder. And as mortars fire upon the square, representing a free world, whirlwinds twirled in a cataclysmic manner, the Illuminati's banner is hurled towards every nook of this globe. And the lies that they have told to us as we were pulled through dust have shown that we must fight for what we know is right, or our peaceful sight will be decimated to blight. Mass fright will be the scene as they rule over us day and night. How many people will it take to rake the bodies of those that died for the sake of hate? A rape rule is made power with greed that creates a seed and when planted it grows a tree that bleeds the blood of those in need. A deed done, a sad psalm sung, as our brethren were hung by their tongue just for speaking out against a world of one. Heroin imported metric ton by ton by smugglers that actually run our nation. And the central intelligence? They sell crack through an elementary school fence. The Minister of Defense intent is much more criminal than perpetrators that to our state prisons were sent. So I ask, how long will it take America to open its eyes to the snake dressed in the disguise of a sheep so it can keep doing whatever the fuck it wants? Rockabillies, I want you to give it up for my man, Mr. Peter Lippin' Corpse Smoke!